In this video, we are going to discuss a gate problem related to minimum phase system and non-minimum phase system and stability. So, you can observe the problem here, this is given in the gate 2011. So, which we already discussed in the starting classes of Nyquist plot. So, you can see an open loop system represented by the transfer function g of s is equivalent to s minus 1 by so, you can observe the function g of s is equivalent to s minus 1 by s plus 2 into s plus 3. Here, they given if that is the open loop transfer function of a system. So, if that system is stable and of the minimum phase type, stable and non-minimum phase type, that system is unstable and minimum phase type, unstable and non-minimum phase type. So, we need to select the apt answer for that open loop transfer function of a control system. So, now before getting into that we need to discuss about stability and minimum phase system and non minimum phase system. Stability of a system is depends upon poles, stability of a system always depends upon the poles. If all poles are in the left half of a plane then we can say that system is stable. If any one of the pole is on the j omega axis then we can say that is marginally stable. If any one of the pole shifted to right half of the s plane then we can say that is unstable system. So, keeping in mind about this point we can say the stability of a system depends upon the position of poles not on zeros only the location of poles will decide the stability of the system. Coming to minimum phase value of the system, what is the minimum phase value of the system? So, minimum phase type not minimum phase value, uh, minimum phase system, non minimum phase system. We already discussed about this when we are introducing polar plot. So, here once again I am going to uh, tell you about this minimum phase type and non minimum phase type. So, coming to minimum phase type, if all the poles and zeros, please underline that word. So, in previous case, when I am discussing stability, I given you word about poles only, but here I am mentioning zeros also. Whenever all the poles and zeros on the left half of S plane, then only we can say that system is minimum phase system. Otherwise, if zeros are shifted to right half of S plane, if zeros are shifted to right half of S plane, then that is said to be non minimum phase system. So, here stability is depends upon left sided poles, left poles. Minimum phase system is depends upon left poles and zeros. Non minimum phase system will be depend upon right zeros. So, this the these three are very important points. When you are discussing stability, you need to check whether all poles are in left side or not. If you are checking minimum phase system or not, you need to check all the poles and zeros also are in left side or not. When you are checking non-minimum phase system, so at least one zero crossed the right half and went to uh, means what at least one zero crossed left half, one zero crossed the, that j omega axis and went to right half, then we can say that is non-minimum phase system. Come to our question. So, they given g of s is equivalent to s minus 1 by s plus 2 into s plus 3. How we can get zeros? By equating numerator to 0. So, we will get zeros. s is equivalent to 1 is 1 0. So, this is 0. And coming to poles by equating denominator to 0. s plus 2 is equivalent to 0. s plus 3 is equivalent to 0 you are going to get your poles s is equivalent to minus 3. If you observe this 0, 
this 0 is right 0 or left 0 means this is right 0. This is right 0. And coming to poles, these two poles are left sided poles. If you consider the S plane in negative real axis, these two poles will come and sit. And this 0 as the value is equivalent to 1 that will come here. So, this is 0 and these two are the poles minus 2 and minus 3 this is 1. This is minus 2 and this is minus 3. So, now according to stability we need to check whether all poles are in left or not. Yes. So, this condition is satisfied and coming to minimum phase system all poles and zeros must be in left half. Poles are in left half but zeros are not in left half. So, this condition is not satisfied. Coming to non-minimum phase system at least one zero should be in the right side of S plane. So, yes one zero cross the omega axis and went to that uh, right half of S plane. If at least one zero is there in the right half of S plane then we can say that is non-minimum phase system. So, this condition is satisfied. So, the system is stable and non-minimum phase system. You can see the options. The system is stable. These two options will be in our view. So, this is non-minimum phase. So, B option will be the right option for this problem.